Hello. Goda is so powerful for its size and has produced many impressive, important, and incredible games. And I want to go over some of the lesser known games, so I'm going to skip over the huge games that everyone knows about, like Hollow Knight and its aesthetic hands down art style, Potato and its zombie killing potato y gameplay, Hive Time and its so, smooth, laid back, strategic luckily, gameplay, and Choose all the other friends. big games. Each but the first game that I think is absolutely incredible is City Game Studio. This is a tycoon game about game development. You get to manage your own game development company and create your own video games. You have the free will to create the game company of your dreams. If you want to sell inappropriate games and earn $15 million a day, then go for it. In City Game Studio, you start from nothing, just a broke game developer in the 1970s, and all you want to do is succeed. So you rent a tight, cheap room to create games out of. Then if you do good, you can move on to the richer area, make more money, hire more workers, and most importantly, make more games. If your goal in real life is to learn to make games, then you should consider subscribing to the channel because I'm uploading an in-depth tutorial series in just a couple days. Next is Rings of Saturn, and that's because this game is incredible. It might be my favorite on this list. And that's because this really shows off the incredible capabilities of this engine. Rings of Saturn is a realistic, top-down, difficult sci-fi space flight experience. The game is backed up by science, basically meaning the ships fly how they would in real life. You have a choice when playing this game, either explore the rings or try and get as rich as possible by leading your excavation company. You need to plan your strategy back at the station by upgrading your ship, hiring crew, and selling your resources. Next up is Dome Keeper. It's basically a really entertaining defend your base game. Waves of aliens come to attack your priceless little dome, and the only way to stop them is to shoot them. But if you let these aliens get the best of you and they damage your dome, then you better run below the dome and mine for resources to upgrade your weapons, repair your dome, and get better all-around upgrades. These aliens get harder and harder to fight, so you better be smart about how much you attack, how much you mine, and what you're spending those valuable resources on. Next is Hykea. This game is hard, like very hard. If you have any sort of rage issues, then I recommend not playing this or you might actually punch a hole right through that computer screen. But in all seriousness, it is very, very challenging and the artwork, in my opinion, looks amazing. If you like yourself a little nice challenge, then I recommend this game to you. This is for sure one of my personal favorite platformers for Goda. Beat Invaders. This game is amazing. You'll get hooked very fast. Obviously, the beats are amazing because they're the best in the entire world. It honestly might be one of the best music tracks. But this fast-paced shooter allows you to upgrade your ship, take on different and harder enemies as you go, and it's in a pretty aesthetic way. You can also create crazy combos if that's your preference, but you better do whatever it takes to protect those freighters and their cargo at all costs. And most importantly, make sure you're dancing along to the beat because they are incredible. I believe these five games really show off the power of the Goda engine. My favorite in this list is the Rings of Saturn. Let me know your favorite in the comments below. Please consider subscribing if you enjoyed. I would really appreciate it. I hope to see you next time. Stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your day.